Hey guys, this is Shaz and welcome back to the Ministry of Reviews. So friends, today I have another very, very powerful CarPlay device for you. Today I will be testing another third generation CarPlay multimedia AI box. This one is called Aurora. Now, as I said, this is another third generation CarPlay device, so it means it's packed with tons and tons of features. It also has an HDMI output. We will be testing this on my Land Cruiser today. But before that, let's do the unboxing and check out the contents of the box. The device comes in a black box. Uh, there is not much information on the box itself. Uh, let's open it. So we've got the device here. This is the Aurora Multimedia CarPlay AI box. And uh, what else do we have in the box? Uh, we've got the user manual. Uh, with all the details to set up the device and uh, how to do the software update and uh, in fact how to use the device itself. Then we also have in the box the connecting cables. Now this one is USB-C and USB-A. This is what I need for my car but this also comes along with an adapter that will convert the USB-A to USB-C. This is mainly for most of the latest European cars. Um, those cars have a USB-C connecting port for the system. So, so we've got the adapter as well as the cable. We also have a pin which will be used for the SIM card and I'll, I'll show you how to use it but uh, this is all that we get in the box in fact we've got device the adapter the cable and the user manual so this is what we get in the box now let's have a look at the, the device um, now the device is quite nice um, a lot of spacing for the air to pass so that the device doesn't heat up that's really really good uh, we have a mini HDMI port here. Then we have the SIM card tray, just like you have in the iPhone. Then you have the USB-C port to connect the cable. And then you have another slot for the TF memory card. Now, as I said, the device is quite lightweight, uh, very nice and different design. I haven't seen a device like this uh, before, so it's, uh, you know, quite nice. Now, what I will do is prepare the device for the test that I would do in my car. So what I would do is I will first insert a TF memory card. So I'll take this card. That's it, it's in. Then we will take the pin, take out the tray for the SIM card. There you go. So the SIM is now set. I'll put the tray back in. Now the SIM is in, the memory TF card is also in. Now I will connect the cable and then I will take this out in my car to test it and check out all the amazing features. All right guys, the device is now ready to be connected with my car. I will connect this USB-A with the system of my car now. There you go. So I've connected the 
device with the system. It will take a um, few seconds for the system to recognize and sync with the device and then we will be able to see the home page of Android 10 on the screen any second now. All right, there you go. So you can see the home screen of Android 10. Uh, so it was very, very simple. It's just plug and play. You don't really need any you know, complicated detailed installation for this. You just connect the device with the system of your car and then it will take a short while for the system to recognize and then you'll be able to see the home screen of Android. It's as simple as that. On your left, you've got the time, then you have a 4G connection. Uh, because we have inserted a SIM card in the device, you can see the 4G appearing here and the strength of the signal. Then you have uh, the Wi-Fi connection uh, icon, uh, the Bluetooth, and then you have a few icons appearing here these are the icons basically that uh, are that show basically the apps that are currently running or the last three apps used then on the bottom you've got uh, this uh, purple icon this basically gives you another view of the home page it basically shows you uh, all the different apps installed in the device in a different layout these are much smaller icons i personally personally like this view uh, but if you don't like, if you like the larger icons, you can click on this and then you can scroll right or left to go to the apps. And then bottom left, this icon with car is basically the one that takes you back to the original home screen of the device. So click on that, goes back to the home uh, original home screen of the system. You click on Apple CarPlay and takes you back to the Android home screen. So in this video, what I will do is uh, take you through a few of the apps to show the functionality and to also show how uh, they perform to see if there is any lag, any buffering, any issues with the, with the device. So let's do that. Uh, let's start off with connecting the device to Wi-Fi first. So let's go to network. Click on Wi-Fi. I have my Wi-Fi appearing here. I'll put my password. So now you can see that the device is connected with internet. And then you can see the, the signal of Wi-Fi also activated here. Now, another thing I wanted to show you is that once you click on the top here, you see this icon here, circle. It's basically a shortcut which fades away every few seconds. But if you click on that, it shows you this list of few icons. This is home. This is back. This is uh, checking all the different apps. And this is voice input, this is split screen, this is clearing all the processes. And then the last one basically is the home icon, uh, basically the car icon that takes you back to the home screen of the device. So one of the great things about this device is that you can insert a SIM card to use the device to make phone calls or even use the data of the SIM to browse internet. Now, if you remember, we inserted a SIM card what we will do is test it by making a phone call. I've dialed my other number. Let's see if it connects. There you go. So the SIM card is working perfectly fine. We also inserted a TF memory card uh, into the device. So let's test if that is working. Uh, let's click on the File Explorer, uh, the SD card, and I can see all the different folders that I had in my SD card. So let's play a movie.
All right. So SD card is perfectly fine. Um, we can also play the movie. We in fact can see that the, the quality of uh, the, the movie and uh, the screen is, is quite nice as well. Now, as you know, the device is an Android 10 operating system device, which means that we can actually use the Play Store app to download any apps that we want. So now let's test if the Play Store app is working. Okay, click on that. All right, so the Play Store app is now visible. Now let's check the YouTube app. Uh, let me play the 8K video. I usually do this in all my... All right, so YouTube app is working fine. We are playing an 8K video and the quality is really, really nice. There is absolutely no lag or buffering. It's very, very smooth. Uh, yeah, it's perfectly fine. So the other good thing about this device is that this device has built in GPS system. There are other devices in the market where you actually have an external GPS uh, kit that you have to install to use the maps and navigation on the device. But the good thing about this device is that the GPS system is installed and we can actually test the signal of GPS here. All right, go. So the signal is quite strong. What we would do is now go back and check um, the navigation app to see if that app is working fine. So we click on maps, we select, we select a location. All right, there you go. So the navigation app is working perfectly fine. Now let's check out the, the Chrome, the internet browsing app as well. All right, let's go to website, Amazon. There you go, it's quite fast, I must say. And you can see the website is appearing there. It's perfectly fine, all good. So next, I would like to test the Netflix app. Thanks. Let's play a movie. All right. So Netflix seems to be working perfectly fine. Very good picture quality. It's very fast. So all good. The other great feature about this device is that this device has three uh, interfaces. One is Android 10 operating system that you can see on the screen. It also has the standard Apple CarPlay as well as the Android Auto interface. So what we would do now is just test the Android Auto because my mobile is an Android phone. I will test uh, the Android Auto system. What we need to do there is that we click on this button that says CarPlay and then on the mobile I have to open uh, my Bluetooth and in Bluetooth I would be able to see the name of the device appearing. Uh, click on that and pair the device and then device will automatically get connected. So there you go. So you can see Android Auto homepage appearing on the screen. In fact, you can do this, the same steps on your iPhone to connect the Apple CarPlay as well. It's very simple. Now let's uh, test one of the, the social media apps like Instagram. All right, so Instagram seems to be working fine. Yeah, 
all good. Now let's check out the TikTok app. So this device has another great feature called split screen and this feature allows you to see two apps side by side at the same time and we'll test that now. So we go to the top bar, uh, click on this icon here, it's a menu, click on this icon and then select the two apps that you would want side by side. So let's do on this side and then... All right, sorry about that. So you have TikTok running on the right side and the navigation running on the left side. So both apps working uh, side by side and working perfectly fine. So in fact, you can have a navigation app working on the left and watch a movie on the right using let's say the SD card or any of the media player. The best thing about this third generation multimedia CarPlay box is that this device has an HDMI output port. That means you can connect the device with other screens as well. So in this case, what I've done is I've connected the device with my main front screen, and then I've used the HDMI connection to connect it with the screens at the back through the HDMI port. So now I can see the same content that is shown on the front screen, I can also view it uh, on the rear screens, as you can see here. This for me is the best feature about this new third generation multimedia CarPlay box. Now we will do a quick speed test uh, to check how long does the device take to start when uh, we switch on the engine. So I have my stopwatch ready here. Uh, what I would do is unplug the device and then put it back in. So it's out and now I will put it back in and then start. All right, so 29, let's say 30 seconds. So 30 seconds is very, very fast, I must say. Uh, uh, as I said, this device has eight core processor, 4G RAM. Uh, so, you know, I was expecting this device to be as fast as it is. So that's really good. This is a great device. Uh, you know, it has so many features packed with so many different uh, apps, uh, 8 core processor, 4 GB RAM, 64 GB internal space. Uh, it's everything that one needs. Uh, so great device, five out of five for this device for me. If you like this device and you're interested to buy it, just go to the link that I have provided in the description of this video. It, that will take you directly to the website where you can purchase this device. That's it guys. If you have any questions about this device or any other CarPlay device, just drop me a WhatsApp message. Uh, I've provided a direct WhatsApp message link in the description of this video. Finally, please do subscribe to the channel, like this video and share it with your friends. Thanks.